ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk brake discs and pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the required area. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels and raise the front of the vehicle. Once you have put in the two axle stands, you will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. Turn the disc outwards, this will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, release the two caliper mounting bolts. Continue unscrewing them with a socket wrench. Finish unscrewing by hand. You can now remove the brake caliper and place it in one of the turns of the shock absorber springs. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. Change the noise dampening shims if you have decided to replace them. To unblock the disc, insert a thin flathead screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. Using a T-handle wrench and a T30 torque socket, release the two holding screws on the disc. Withdraw the screwdriver. Using a T-handle wrench and a Torx 55 socket, release the two holding screws on the brake caliper mount. Depending on the state of the knots on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. To save time, Finish the removing using a socket wrench and a torque socket. Take off the brake caliper mount. Finish by removing the screws that fasten the disc on so you can completely take it off. You can use a hammer to help you. Clean the hub with a wire brush. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. And once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Take the new brake rotor. Place the new disc onto the hub. Risk with the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible. Using a wire brush, clean the brake caliper mount around the area where the pads will be placed. This will facilitate their installation. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing by hand to begin with. And finish by fixing it in place with a socket wrench and a Torx 55 socket. Finish off the tightening with a Torx wrench.
Reuse the screwdriver technique to stop the rotation of the disc. This will allow you to fully tighten the fastening screws of said disc. Take the new brake pads. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place. You can now replace the caliper and screw the lower caliper mounting bolt back on. Don't forget to use the new screw supplied and which has been pre-coated with thread locker. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels on your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.